Hello everyone, AWS Identity and Access Management is launching a new capability allowing security teams to centrally manage root access for member accounts in AWS organizations. Let's start by looking at the challenges around managing root access at scale. Prior to this change, AWS accounts were provisioned with highly privileged root user credentials, which had unrestricted access to the account. This root access, while powerful, also posed significant security risks and managerial challenges such as Highly privileged access, AWS accounts come with root user credentials that grant unrestricted access to all resources, making them a significant target for cyber threats. The root user is the most powerful identity within an AWS account, which poses a high security risk if compromised. Manual security management, organizations have historically managed root credentials manually, requiring periodic rotation and secure storage of these sensitive credentials. This process is cumbersome and error-prone, especially for large enterprises managing numerous accounts. Operational overhead, as AWS environments grow, the manual approach to securing root access becomes increasingly burdensome, leading to operational inefficiencies and potential security vulnerabilities. This includes delays in account provisioning and increased risks of unauthorized access if root credentials are not adequately protected. Increased attack surface, when security teams need to perform specific actions that require root access, such as modifying resource policies, they must retrieve and use root credentials, further exposing the account to potential attacks. This reliance on long-term credentials increases the chances of mismanagement and compliance issues. Consequences of compromise, if root user credentials are lost or mismanaged, it can lead to unauthorized access, data breaches, and significant financial losses for organizations. The risks associated with maintaining long-term root credentials underscore the need for better security practices and controls. The central management of root credentials capability allowing customers to centrally manage their root credentials, simplify auditing of credentials, and perform tightly scoped privileged tasks across their AWS member accounts managed using AWS organizations. The solution has two main capabilities. First, the root credential management capability allows management account to delete and audit root credentials of member accounts. It also allows password recovery for specific member accounts. Second, the privileged root actions in member accounts capability allow management or delegated administrator account for IAM to perform certain root actions in member accounts like deleting misconfigured polices in Amazon SQS or Amazon S3 using short-term root access. Let's first discuss the root credential management capability. With this capability, you can now centrally manage and secure privileged root credentials across all accounts in AWS organizations. Root credentials management allows you to remove long-term root credentials. Security teams can now programmatically remove root user credentials from member accounts, confirming that no long-term privileged credentials are left vulnerable to misuse. Prevent credential recovery. It not only removes the credentials but also prevents their recovery, safeguarding against any unintended or unauthorized root access in the future. Provision secure by default accounts. Because you can now create member accounts without root credentials from the start, you no longer need to apply additional security measures like MFA after account provisioning. Accounts are secured by default, which significantly reduces security risks associated with long-term root access and helps simplify the entire provisioning process. Help to stay compliant, root credentials management allows security teams to demonstrate compliance by centrally discovering and monitoring the status of root credentials across all member accounts. This automated visibility confirms that no long-term root credentials exist, making it easier to meet security policies and regulatory requirements. But how can we make sure it remains possible to perform selected root actions on the accounts? This is the second capability, privileged root actions. It offers a secure alternative to maintaining long-term root access. Instead of manually accessing root credentials whenever privileged actions are required, security teams can now gain short-term, task scope root access to member accounts. This capability makes sure that actions such as unlocking S3 bucket policies or SQSQ policies can be performed securely without the need for long-term root credentials. Root sessions key benefits include Task scope root access, AWS enables short-term root access for specific actions, adhering to the best practices of least privilege. This limits the scope of what can be done and minimizes the duration of access, reducing potential risks. Centralized management, you can now perform privileged root actions from a central account without needing to log into each member account individually. This streamlines the process and reduces the operational burden on security teams, allowing them to focus on higher level tasks.
alignment with AWS best practices, by using short-term credentials, organizations align themselves with AWS security best practices, which emphasize the principle of least privilege and the use of short-term, temporary access where possible. In this demo session, I am going to show you how to enable the centralized root access feature on management account and how to use this feature to take privileged action on member account. In this setup, I have an organization with management account and some member accounts. I am logged in the management account now. You first need to enable the centralized root access feature for member accounts on management account. To do that, you need to open the IAM console. Choose root access management. Select Enable. In this Capabilities section, you will see the two capabilities of this features, Root Credential Management, and Privileged Root Actions in Member Accounts. Choose Enable. Now I have enabled the feature. Next I will show you the capability of how to gain root access for privileged action on Member Account. On this Management Account, open the IAM Console. Choose Root Access Management. Select the member account that you want to gain root access. Choose Take Privileged Action. Choose the privileged action you want to take in the member account. In this demo, I will select Delete Amazon S3 Bucket Policy to remove a misconfigured bucket policy that denies all principles from accessing the Amazon S3 Bucket. Choose Browse S3 to select a name from the buckets owned by the member account. Choose Delete Bucket Policy. As you can see, I have an existing bucket policy on this member account. I am now able to delete the S3 bucket policy on my dev account from management account. There are also other actions on member account that you can take privileged action from this management account. And that's it. Today, we have introduced the new IAM feature that allows you to centrally manage root access for all accounts in your organization. I have demonstrated how to enable the feature and how to gain root access to delete a S3 bucket policy on member account from management account. This new feature is available in all AWS regions, including the AWS GovCloud, US, regions and China regions. For detailed information, check out the AWS Identify and Access Management User Guide in AWS blog post. Thank you for your time.